Over the past few years, we as meticulously crafted Roman Reigns into an indomitable force establishing him as an impregnable stronghold within the realm of relevance rarely hits his. Dominance been threatened until a pivotal moment at Money in the Bank when a hairline fracture materialized in his impenetrable fortress in an unprecedented turn of events. Roman Reigns exhibited signs of frustration, bewilderment, and a rare glimpse of vulnerability as his loyal cousins, the Usos, defiantly refused to succumb to the painful look of absolute disbelief. Leaf, adoring the tribal chief's countenance, and settling his typically composed demeanor in a whirlwind of thoughts so low. Sicko swiftly intervened Joel and Roman, reigns back to reality, urging their collective alliance to regain composure to strike and departure. From the Roman reigns we have grown, accustomed to since aligning himself with Paul Heyman marks a notable shift in his character. The question however still arises how does losing that money in the bank change the tribal chief dynamic in today's video we will find out all the connections between the characters of the bloodland and how losing out regular intervals will change the tribal chief dominant stay till the end of the video to find out but before getting started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and click on the bell icon so you never miss an update without any further ado let's get started the roots of this unfolding event can be traced back several months as Roman Reigns and the Dox alliance with Sami Zayn shed light on his inner desire for genuine personal connection even though his tribal chief persona rigidly prevented him from lowering his defenses when Sami Zayn pushed to his break-in point turned against the bloodline and served as the catalyst that ignited Roman Reigns deep-seated paranoia no longer able to trust those in his inner circle he projected his suspicions on them the use of directing his frustration at their loss of the tag team titles at Wrestlemania in the past reign would have exacted his retribution in a calculated and impassive manner devoid of emotion however still grappling with the wounds inflicted by Sami Zayn's betrayal as ego propelled him to unleash his anger upon the Usos, utilizing them as a conduit since he couldn't vent his frustration on anyone else. Regrettably and a necessary display of disrespect was aimed at the Usos instead of assuming the role of a composed and encouraging tribal chief Roman Reigns, opted for a different approach revealing the alarming extent to which his ego had consumed him. He believed that simply partnering with Solo Sokol would rectify the issue at hand, disregarding the potential for positive motivation to inspire the Usos in their quest to reclaim the titles Roman Reigns driven by an unwavering intolerance for failure refused to grant his cousins another chance as the fear of appearing weak clashed with his desire to support his family the lofty standards he had established for his own success clouded his judgment overshadowing the greater picture Paul Heyman with subtlety attempted to guide Roman Reigns back on the right and striving to maintain unity within the bloodline nevertheless there comes a point where the effective of his counsel diminishes, and his words go unheeded much of the development of Roman Reigns' tribal chief. EO can be attributed to the mindset fostered by Paul Heyman. Heyman instilled and wavered confidence in Reigns, enabling him to enter any match with absolute certainty. Initially, their focus revolved solely around championships, but as time passed, the pursuit became deeply personal. However, Paul Heyman's abilities as a family counselor were questionable, as his primary concern was always centered on success and financial gains. Nurtured the bonds within the family unit was never a priority for him. Consequently, Roman Reigns often relied on his childhood legacy of intimidation to manipulate his cousins into shouldering the burden of his objectives. The bloodline unfortunately was never a Jewish incorporated family endeavor. It revolved entirely around the desires of the tribal chief when Sami Zayn exposed the Usos to the notion that they no longer needed to be manipulated. The foundation of their unity gradually began to unravel a fascinating enigma within this narrative of Solo Sukkot. Sets him apart from the Usos is the absence of an inherent intimidation factor and like the Yusos Sokoa didn't have a deep-rooted connection with Roman reigns during their formative years it appears that their partnership has been driven by mutual convenience serving as a means to achieve success while Sokoa genuinely cares for his older brothers there's also a selfish aspect to his motivations having lived in the shadows of Roman reigns in the Yusos for a significant portion of his life his involvement in the bloodline represents his endeavor to establish a legacy that may one day arrival or even surpass their Sokoan visions of future, where his own shadow looms large over. His family members being caught in the midst of a familial conflict can be a distressing experience, but unlike the others, he refuses to let emotions impede. His ambition Sokoa aligns himself with whoever can facilitate his prosperity, which currently entails standing 
alongside Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. However, it's important to anticipate that once they no longer serve his interests, he will likely betray them and embark on a solitary path forging his undistinct persona as a formidable leader. In recent events, Roman Reigns has demonstrated that personal matters can indeed impact him because of his emotions. To cloud his judgment, this vulnerability exposes a crack in his seemingly impenetrable armor, providing future challengers with an avenue to exploit and capitalize on his mistakes. Paul Heyman, despite his wisdom, finds himself unable to effectively counsel the tribal chief on this particular psychological aspect as it surpasses his emotional capacity. This was evident during the Money in the Bank kickoff show when Paul Heyman was visibly moved, nearly shedding tears, remarking that he had never witnessed the tribal chief in such a state before. While Heyman is renowned for his sagacity, it becomes evident that he cannot mend every aspect of the situation at hand. Despite Paul Heyman's efforts to mold Roman Reigns into the flawless we Universal Champion external factors have inflicted irreparable damage upon him. It has become evident that at his core, Roman Reigns is fallible just like any human being. He can be defeated in his reign as champion cannot endure indefinitely with each title defense. The mountain pressure becomes increasing, burdensome the weight of this pressure. Coupled with his tribal chief ego, the tumultuous history with his family and the conditioning he has undergone will likely lead to the eventual crumbling of his character when the day arrives. Fans will rejoice not only because a new champion emerges but also because because they have had the opportunity to witness the progression of his story over the course of several years while for some this journey may have been arduous and drawn out the most compelling narratives unfold organically as Wrestlemania 40 approaches it feel like a fitting culmination marking the end of the tyranny and domination wielded by the Travel Chief, the present question remains who possesses the readiness to step up and bring an end to Roman Reigns. Ray, will it be the Uso Solo Sukor, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, or perhaps a combination of them all could have necessitated collective effort akin to the protagonists uniting against a notorious villain in an epic movie finale to save the world from his grip. It seems to be heading in that direction. Remarkably, the Uso's triumph over Roman Reigns has brought about a positive shift in the Travel Chief dynamic. Starting this week, we shall witness a gradual and inevitable decline in the stature of the undisputed we universal champion paradoxically this loss not only enhances the overarching storyline but also abuse the act of losing the title with hiding significance in the long term the defeat contributes to the overall narrative amplifying its impact and implications who do you believe is ready to step up in challenge the dominant reign of roman reigns is roman reigns going to lose further in the future share your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this analysis of the ever evolving tribal chief dynamic make sure to subscribe to the king of wrestling for war captivating discussions and updates from the world of professional wrestling stay tuned for exciting content and let's keep the wrestling Enjoy conversation the content. going give us a thumbs up to show your support if our videos bring a smile to your face or ignite your curiosity hitting that like button helps us know we're on the right track sharing is caring if you found value entertainment or inspiration in what we create consider sharing our channel with your friends and family let's spread the positive together don't miss out on future updates hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay connected join our community for more exciting content coming your way your support means the world to us